Hi, it's Therese from Lost in Paper and I'm here with a fun card using some Ellen Hudson products that are about to be released. This one's called Pop-Up Mittens and it's awesome fun, created by Julie Eversole and I'm going to show you how to use it. I thought it'd be fun to make some plaid mittens and so I've got the plaid maker set and I really like this set, it's heaps of fun. The stamp that I'm using like there's a few different ones in the set I just used two of them and you can stamp two squares at once and you can use them in all different ways so you can make your patterns as busy or as clean and simple as you like so I'm doing two different designs here using the party dress ink from Catherine Pooler and stamping it directly onto some oyster grey cardstock I thought it'd be nice to use the grey in the background I decided not to use a real solid black this is um, more like a um, like a really dark grey it's called blackjack it's another Catherine Puller ink and on this other little piece that I did I did actually add a couple of extra lines and made it uh, a little bit busier now I'm just going to run these dies the mitten dies through my die cutting machine and I actually get an extra mitten out of the panel that I stamped so if you want to see another card using this same set head to my blog the link will be in the description below and you can see what I did with the other mitten <laughs> all right so there's this rectangle die in the set and it cuts out two pieces and also has a um, a few different sort of snowflake dies and I'm using my Gemini Junior to do my die cutting at the moment and this is a really thick American cardstocks glitter cardstock and it actually did cut through I have had trouble cutting this kind of cardstock through my big shot what I would have done was use the thinner one which I'll link in my blog and that cuts really easily and then cut some um, normal cardstock and adhere them together but because I had the thicker stuff I thought I'd give it a try but it actually cut it really well I was impressed so now it's time to make the pop-up portion for the center of my card I've cut two strips of 80 pound Nina white cardstock um, with the rectangle die in the set and I've also cut two strips of acetate I just used my bone folder to give the score lines that um, once you when you die cut them it puts the score lines in place so I just used my bone folder to give them some memory by folding them over and I'm going to join all four of them together by putting some be creative tape so this is a really nice strong tape um, on one side of the um, rectangle strips and then I'll, once I've made the four squares I'll add another piece of the be creative tape to join each of the two squares together so I'm going to do this for the white squares and for the acetate squares it's good to use a strong tape you could use liquid glue but then you'd have to wait for it to dry so this is um, just helps speed things along so next I'm going to attach it to the center of the card so just to help visually I'll just hold it in place and fold the card over and then I know exactly it just gives me an idea where I want to put it um, where I need to put the tape so that means I'm going to put a piece on each side and I'm using the be creative tape yet again here I am trying to be careful not to let any of the tape hang over the edges because I don't want it to sort of adhere to the inside of the card or because um, then it might stop it from opening I don't think it's going to be too bad but you could use probably a little bit less I think I've gone a bit overboard <laughs> and then I can just add um, attach some more tape this time it's going to the top so I just thought it'd be easier to attach it before I adhered it on the center of the card just so that way I'm not pushing down on the pop-up portion so basically if you look at it as a rectangle you need tape on both sides but don't run it right across the top you do need to make sure that it's separated so that the um, it'll fold in so I've just sort of 
hold it in place where I think it needs to be depending you can use this the best thing about this little uh, rectangle die is you can use it for anything that you want to put in your card it doesn't just have to be the mittens you can actually use it for so many different things and I've got some great ideas in my head I'm going to get to and use it <laughs> so then I can just hold my mittens in place and fold the card over and it and it gets picked up by that be creative tape so normally you could get away with putting a score line down the center of because this is actually going to be a double pop-up so I could have put a score line had I used cardstock but this um, glitter cardstock is really heavy so I knew that wasn't going to work so how I got around that was I actually just cut the um, snowflake in half and then I did the same thing again I folded the card attached my acetate um, pop-up portion onto the mittens and then I using some glue dots to actually adhere the each side of the snowflake in place how cool is that and I love these little plaid mittens they're so cute all right on the front of my card I'm not going to go overboard I've just got a piece of the oyster grey cardstock again and I'm adding a sentiment which is from the Mondo Holly stamp sets a beautiful font on this one and then I'm just going to attach now this is the other mitten that I made um, the one that's got a heavier pattern to it I'm just going to attach that with an ATG and then a glue dot to adhere a, a little glitter bow that I cut from the parcel box set and then I just thought it needed something else so I've got um, just some fine frames this is from Alta New now I will link everything at my blog obviously the mittens haven't quite been released yet but not too far away it is quite a wide pop-up so it doesn't the card doesn't particularly sit flat but I thought it'd be good to put like a belly band or add a twine bow around if you do want it to get a bit flatter how cool is that thanks so much for joining me today I've had heaps of fun if you like this video please like it if you haven't already I'd love it if you would subscribe to my blog and to my YouTube channel. Look forward to seeing you again real soon. Till next time, happy paper crafting. Bye.